jacking. We got the Primal Canine van. This car jacking is going to be even more awesome because of that van and its exhaust system. It's got a nice rumble to it. Adds a little testosterone to the scenario. Yep. And word on the street is this is going to be, this is going to create separation in our leaderboard here. Oh, absolutely. So describe to people what is about, well, oh, we're live here too. Yeah. Nice. All right. We're in the carjacking scenario. We've got the eight dogs from the last segment all made it back. And this is where we're going to create some separation. So talk to us about what's going to go on in the carjacking. This carjacking, first off, my favorite scenario. It's different than what a lot of people who do follow this stuff are used to. And for those who are new, awesome, because we're going to set the bar really high with this. Cool. This carjacking, it, it's almost not a carjacking because you're not in the car anymore. And that's where the dogs are typically get thrown a curveball. Okay. Typically, a lot of carjacking scenarios and the way people train it is you're in the car with the dog and ah, him, get you're, you're get pumping him, the dog him, up. Him. The guy walks up to the window and it's just another bite. No. Here, this is much more realistic in the context of your car getting stolen. Cool. So our handler is going to bring the dog into the car. Load up. And they're going to drive. We're actually driving the vehicle yeah. on the field, which yeah. is cool. And they're going to just go up a short distance. Then they leave the vehicle. Yep. They leave the dog in the vehicle. They can give the dog a command. Like watch, watch it or whatever. And then they walk away. And now then. our decoy. <laughs> and, and, and this is by far probably the highest risk, most dangerous scenario for our decoys. And our decoy is Brian Ryan, Mr. MD, the doctor himself. Indeed. In case he needs to do some triage. That's right. Um, so we hope that it's not going to happen. That's, <laughs> why, that's why we got skilled decoys. But what's going to happen is he opens up the door. His job is to get his butt cheeks on the seat and move the vehicle without getting bit. Which would be bad news for a handler and dog. Yes. We want that dog to engage the decoy basically as soon as he opens that door. Yes, and that's where this gets real tricky for the decoy in terms of bite presentation. Right. You know, because we talked about that. Even here at the entry level, our decoys aren't feeding the dog the bite. When we say feeding a bite, like, here you go, come and get it. They're not doing that. Right. Here, the decoy has to get in the vehicle, take the bite that's coming, and protect his safety. own safety. Yeah. I mean, there's a chance. I mean, your face is right there. Uh, and when you got a dog that's you, you ready to go. Guts. Yes. These decoys, again, we've talked about it earlier, but these decoys are superior athletes, as well as some of the most highly trained decoys in this industry. And K9 Street League brings them all to one place to get the best out of these dogs. Absolutely. And so, Brian Ryan, Mr. MD, the doc, is going to run this scenario for the dogs, and he's gotta be careful, man. Very, very. He's gotta be careful. So again, let's just recap it. The goal is, handler drives the vehicle forward, puts it in park, leaves the vehicle, and now the dog has to protect the vehicle and not let a stranger get in and drive away. Yep. That dog has to engage without handler assistance. So we saw some dogs in trial one who were smoking the scenarios. Yes. And didn't bite. They just. They're like, they didn't know. Yep. It wasn't fear. It, was, it wasn't some negative, undesirable, weak dog. No, the dog was just confused and didn't doing? know what to do. Yep. So people who were at trial one, either as spectators, as participants, coming into this, they have, they have the knowledge to train this. I mean, the rule book is out there. You can download a copy of the rule book. Go to K9Streetleague.com. Yeah. You can get a copy of that rule book, and I, I think everybody should. Just read it, see what's going on. If you're curious, you want to do this, even if you don't want to do this, but you enjoy watching it, get a copy of the rule book. It's simple, it's easy to follow, it gives you a little more insight into what is taking place so sure. you can appreciate some of the finer details. Absolutely.
So we just watched our dog in white. Dog in white. Which I call the test dog, but it, it has a real term, dog in white. And it was Mongol. He didn't hesitate. No. No, uh, Brian Ryan didn't even get I in the vehicle. I think he unlatched the door and said, come at me, bro. <laughs> he unlatched the door. He, he pulled that new claw and went, let's go. Yeah. I'm in. He said, let's just get to the point here. Mongol doesn't mess around. So, so coming up on deck now, warming up behind us, we have Aaliyah and Jewel. Aaliyah and Jewel. They are currently in first place with 93 points. Um, I would say it has such amount, or she has such amount of control over the dog, and the dog is so well versed in its job that it's just hard to not be in first place. And another thing with this scenario is they don't, there's not a lot of obedience in this one. No, it's a lot of independence. Independence, which is a very different presentation than some of the other ones we've seen. Here All right, we she is approaching. She's approaching the vehicle, downs the dog. Now she'll place her dog in. When she gets in the van and starts to drive, she unclips the leash. Oh, she unclipped it there. We'll see what, I don't think that's, that's not a problem, but no. they just made a comment earlier to unclip the leash once you get in the van. The dog is off leash. Look at, oh, you can see the dog right there. Yep. Okay, she's in the van, we're gonna crank it up and we're gonna drive about 20, 30 feet forward so the dog thinks it's going somewhere. Absolutely, as realistic as possible. Oh, oh listen to that. Tim Allen. You know that reference? Yes, I do. Home improvement. Yes, I do. Yeah. Primal K9. That van, van almost sounds like it's got a Hemi, wow. but it's a Ford. Yeah. All right. So now Vehicle is when out. that dog is going to start working. All right. Let's see if she gives a command. She can <laughs> give the dog a command right there. She walks away. Now Brian Ryan. Look at MD. she's walking completely off. Yeah, this dog is the watching the owner leave. Go away. Where's Brian Ryan? Okay, he's off screen, maybe? Yep. Once the handler gets to the designated position, which is, I mean, what's oh, that? Oh, she has to go sit down. Okay, look 30, at her. 40 she's yards? Still, can you imagine what's going through her head right now? Oh, <laughs> come on. I'm, I'm, uh, come on, baby. Here Brian Ryan, Ryan approaching. Approaching the vehicle. Where's the dog? He's, dog's in the seat. Dog's in the seat. We got a little nibble. No engagement. This is what we're talking about. Okay. This is what we meant about this scenario. Is going to create that separation. You can't help but you can't help listen. But you just, can't help but feel like my stomach just kind of sunk a little bit. Yeah. It just I I'm feeling for Aaliyah. Uh She's been crushing everything. I know. I know. Like, you feel it, don't you? You get so invested into this, watching these handlers and their dogs, seeing everything happening that we don't, nobody here wants God. something to go wrong. There has to be a winner. There has to be a first and second and whatnot. But when you see a team like this, it, it hurts, man. It does, man. I can't even put words. Yeah, we're right a little now. quiet right now. I feel bad. Sorry, Aaliyah. And jewels. Now, but this is what this scenario is for. This is going to create that separation yes. in, in who's, who's got the winner here. Who's got the dog? Yep. Yep. Oh, somebody's in the background. Can now, you hear me? this is this is really. Oh, we got Prowler. That's who it is. This has got to be extra sour tasting for Aaliyah, because this was something similar that happened in trial number one. Okay. She was coming into all the bike scenarios in first place. Okay. Crushing everything, got into, I can't remember, I, could, I, I honestly cannot remember if it was the carjacking or the face attack, I, don't, I doubt it was a face attack. She got into one of the scenarios and was wiped out because the dog did not engage the way it needed to in that scenario, and that was it. So it comes down to, you know, 
Oscar, uh, our judge, and I were discussing you know, dogs seeing pictures, right? So creating a picture that they understand. You can overdo it, right? We were talking about that yep. last time we were there. Over anticipating Everything. The, the, yeah, the bag and, and Dan the canine man and anticipating what was going to go on and so their obedience slacked a little bit. But, but this picture of the van, I mean, if you know you're going to be a canine street league competitor, this is something I'd be working on. A lot. Yeah. A lot. I, if I know that most people are going out here, this is what I'm going to hammer on so that I don't have that happen to me. The That's what you got to do. The amount of independent thinking the dog has to do in this scenario right. is what makes this scenario very different and incredibly challenging. We spend so much time when we're working with a dog, control, control, control. Yes. We saw a lot of issues in some of the other bite scenarios where the control prior to the bite, you know, we were talking in the bag snatch about how every bag, the dog's control was getting worse and falling apart. Right. So, so people are, what are they gonna do? They're gonna double down on control. Right. Well, now we're in a scenario where it isn't about that. It's about the dog making decisions on its own. It's the exact opposite of that. Exactly. Balance in your training. Balance. Yep. All right, we got Pilatus and Prowler. Now, they've had a strong showing. They are Lost some points in uh, some of the control, le uh, leash tension. Yes, sir. They've got 87 points, which is tied for fourth, I believe. So this could be where he makes up his ground, baby. Yes, he could. This could be where he makes up his ground. Get ready to hear that roar. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That doesn't get old. No. That doesn't get old. No, I wish I had my truck sounded like that. All right, Dan, the canine man's getting in position. He's getting psyched up. I don't, I'm going to guess the problem is the bike. I just feel it, man. I'm going to go with that. I, I can't disagree with you. I think he's going to do it. I mean, I'd want to just to make it interesting to disagree with you, but I really can't. Yeah, I think he's going to do it. Let's see. He's already, look at You can see him on screen here, folks, bouncing back and forth in the front seat. Wondering what's going on. And now, they, this could also create anxiety and nervousness where that dog doesn't see the bite, right? He doesn't see that picture. He's thinking, where are you going, man? And again, Pelobius is 30, 40 yards away yeah. in a chair Here comes off Dan. camera. Dan's being called in by Oscar. All right, we got some barking. But he's looking out the other window. The dog is Yo. not. Okay, he's walking All right, back now to he's, the front seat. Oh. Is he engaging? I cannot see. Yeah, yes, he he's on. He's, he's on. He's in, baby. Add up. We have a successful Add engagement. A the dog is on the bite. Yes. Yes. Now our handler comes over. Yes. So now we got an out. Yes. He's going to put the leash on the dog while on the bite. There we go. Deep breath, bud. Deep breath. Now it's key right now when putting that leash on that he maintains the composure. Can I see the angle? Did we get a clean out? Yes. Nice. Nice. There well you go, baby. This Look at him run off the field. He knows yeah. it. We're all excited. Yeah. I'm excited watching. Yes. Him. This is what separates. That's right. Throw fist your fist up. in the air. You earned that. Yeah. Absolutely. Nice job. Nice job. Good job, Dan. Dude, I'm a little, I'm a little tingly off that. I'm fired up, baby. I'm fired up. Lavis and Prowler. That's rush. That is huge for them in this event. That's right. That is huge. They need it. Yes. They need it. And you know what's delivered. funny? This is such close quarters in the van that that dog doesn't have time to gain speed, gain momentum. No. Gain. It's, it's, it's right there. It's, it's right there. It's in their face. It's really close. And then you saw the intensity go to level 10 when he brought him and got his feet on the ground. Yes. Oh, I love there, it. There's no amping up. The, there's no agitation. There's no, ah, right. ah, ooh. No, it's. Boom, dog, right. make a decision right now, make the right decision yeah. and stay in it. Yeah, I agree. That's why I love this scenario. Canine Street League, changing the game. And definitely folks, go down and subscribe. You will see more of this content. You will learn more about the sport, more about the dogs, more about the decoys, more about everything that you'll wanna know. And you'll learn some things you didn't even know you wanted to know. Give it a subscribe. Yeah. So. Also, real quick, while we're in between dogs, Instagram, K9 Street League, K with the number nine, Street League. Street League. And they should follow you too. At Lone Duck, L-O-N-E-D-U-C-K, baby. And check out your podcast. Oh, I man. like your podcast. Thank you.
Lone Duck Chronicles. Lone Ducks Gun Dog Chronicles. Gun Dog Chronicles. Yep. Um, I was on it. You were on Twice. it. Same with, same with Mike. We had Mike on board. Um, really neat discussions about retriever training mostly, but we've had uh, you guys on it, and it's really kind of changed the game. Uh, I've drawn from your following, and I think my, my following is really starting to tune into this sport. It's exciting. If you're a dog lover, this is exciting. Yeah, no matter what. Mark and Dax. Mark and Dax. They're in tied for tied for third. Tied for third. 91 points. He's tied for third with David and Mo. So now this is big for him too because now he's got to maintain this position. That's right. There you go. He wanted to give another command, but he didn't. Did you notice that? Yeah. He's smart. And you know what else I like, dude? They're wearing these. That promoting balance, right? Like they've got the gear on. Alright, so they're wearing their gear. Like this is this is big for them. There's a lot of pride in this. Years of work building their business, building their training abilities, and building these. Get your back out. Get your back out. Get your some. That dog is scanning the environment. Do you think that's going to be? I think he's got this. I could be wrong. The pig's butt for it. You're a ham. Oh, 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 we're getting that second wind. I'll yeah. tell you, we've been here all day and it's just now picking up. It's the carjacking is what it is. Yeah. This scenario, and to an extent, watching Palavius and Prowler got me fired up. Yeah, yeah this is uh, awesome. All right, so Mark is leaving the scene. And Dax is just going. Look at that tail. Wild. The dog's tail is now, everywhere. Now, if you have a Mercedes Benz, don't put Dax in the front seat. No. I'm just going to say. No, it might decrease your resale value even in this current yeah, market. Dax does not ride inside the car. Even, no. That sucker is going to be the end. That is not the end. Brian Ryan, Mr. MD. That's a song. I don't know. On the wrong person. We've already established the wrong person. Oh, yeah. 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 That was yeah, a foregone conclusion. He Whoa, go. he popped off. Okay, okay. I don't know what happened. I turned I my damn head. Angle. I didn't see the angle. It popped off. Ah, all right, we're getting some, we're getting some <laughs> intel here. As he was he taking the okay. dog out of the car, the, door. the dog out it. The dog let go at the threshold of the vehicle. Gotcha. Okay, well, I guess we're going to see what happens. And... Now, I don't know. Right now, I do not know how that will affect the score. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll keep you posted. Now, that brings uh, up an interesting concept, right? And, and it, it, it rings to me because I work so much with my pet dog owners on thresholds. So while I'm watching this and seeing how this played out, I can't help but think of how hard I work with my students on teaching their dogs not to leave a crate, not to cross a front door, and not to leave a vehicle without permission. Now you might say, well, this is a totally different context. Yeah, but dogs, we have to teach them how to generalize, and it's easy for a dog to take one lesson from one context and mistakenly apply it. I don't know what happened here, I'm just guessing. Yeah, there could be, listen, there could be a hundred things that happen. He, the dog could have slipped, right? I mean, oh, no joke, the dog yeah, coming out of, trying to get pulled out of a vehicle and all of a sudden your feet come out from under you. And I know that they train for that stuff, so I, I get it, but. Yeah. Anything yeah. could have happened that we can't see from this angle that created the behavior, or maybe he just literally slipped his grip. He went to punch, he slipped, and all of a sudden he's out, and now it's like, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, these dogs are not on all four paws and on not, a nice turf. And they're not remote controls. They nope. have a mind of their own, and, and things happen. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Oscar judges that, and maybe they saw something different than we did. Yes. 
So giving the dog the benefit of the doubt of he didn't really let go on purpose, right? Like we were talking earlier, um, I think during the bag snatch where one of the dogs bit, it like sort of slipped off and then regripped with aggression. It was a notch down, but it wasn't major. Correct. This could be one of those scenarios versus the dog who lets go and regrips because of the decoy and the mm -hmm. bag and, and feeling like, I don't know if I want this, not fully committed. Well, we'll definitely so. find out as soon as we know, you'll you, know I, the details. I can't imagine Dax wasn't fully committed. He looked... From the minute he got it. Yeah. Well, he engaged yeah. immediately. There was no hesitation on the right. engaging. It was just once that dog was being pulled out of the vehicle, something happened. something happened, and the dog made a decision at that point to say, whoa. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, these are all legends. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, but either way, Mark and Dax, I thought, did a nice job. Intense animal, I wouldn't go inside Mark's car. Nope. Let's just say that. Okay, so how much money would it take for you to go in that car? I don't know, man. In a, in a suit, I would do it. <laughs> oh, that doesn't count. Yeah, okay. That doesn't, yeah. All right, Leah and Micro are up. This team is sitting in second place with 92 points. He was already anticipating getting up, so she is a good handler. Is yes. that it? <laughs> yes. I see you, girl. Handsome you, dog. Girl. Handsome dog. Yeah, real cool. All right. She's got to close. Yeah, the other door's got to get closed. There we go. That way the dog can pop out. Pop right through and do a little shimmy shake on someone. I'm taking a look. Brian Ryan's getting a little glisten on his forehead, too. These decoys are working, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. I mean, we got a great breeze, Northern California weather, and they're in, and they are in those suits working these dogs. Again, this is a testament to the standards that K9 Street League has set for their decoys. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is no half step. There is no. I'm gonna come out this weekend and decoy a truck. No, no. I, I saw some footage from the decoy seminar that they did oh, right. Oh, there was puking. There was vomiting. Really? Oh, absolutely. Just really working the, the guys and gals in the suits. Yeah, it's they awesome. have to be. To be able to do this, to be able to do what we're watching and what all of you guys are seeing, you can't just come out Sunday afternoon and think you're gonna do this. No. You can't just recreationally, I catch dogs every once in a while, no. You can't give me a suit and tell me go out there and do this. Nope. Impossible, I've never done it before. Actually, it's a lot done it once, but it's not something that no one knows what they're doing can do. All right, Dan's pro, or uh, Brian, I keep saying Dan because we were so big on Dan's man. Uh, what do we got going on? We got an engage. I see some arms shaking. Dogs on. Dogs on. Like on. He is on, baby. We have a good engagement. So now the handler, Leah, is approaching her dog. There you go, buddy. Out. Now you'll notice in this scenario, the dog does have to bite longer because the handler has to come from 30, 40, 30 yards away. Right. That is a, it's the longest engagement True. in the entry level scenario, uh, entry level trial level. Yeah. And, and we nice. have a good out. We have a nice. clean out. Yes. That looked great. That looked great. Brian, crushing it. And Aaliyah out there with dog number two getting through this scenario. Yeah, good for her. So Aaliyah she and was. Micro are in second place, only to Aaliyah and Jules. So well, Micro and might be looking real good. Well, scratch Jules. Yeah, I know. So that's what I'm saying. Out. That's going to put Micro uh, up. Yeah, him and Prowler. Neck and neck well, and Dax. And we got to find out. We're going to find out the scoring on Dax and what happened there. That's right. All right, next up we've got Lauren and Mr. Bean. I, I love that dog. Today. Mr. Bean. Because he's so not Mr. Bean. No. Maybe when he was a puppy he looked like a little bean or something, but he didn't continue to look that way. He looks like a Cujo. Oh, he, he's back behind us. He's back oh, behind yeah. us yipping. Sham a lama ding dong. Let's go, Bean. Now, this will also be a great chance for this team to potentially make up some ground because they had some control issues in that picnic table. He's going to have some independence here, I bet you. Yeah. This is where he, he can thrive. Okay. He, he's going to get exactly she's what gotta, he wants. She, needs, she does need to take her time here still, though. 
don't rush. Because there's still another scenario after this. Right. The more you go, the more wild it's getting. Oh, look at it. We're fired up. Yeah. Look at it. We got a little bit of leash. That is a big dog. Oh, yeah. That is a large. A big bean. Yeah. <laughs> dog is in the vehicle. All right. See, I, I would, if I were her, slow down. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Be deliberate with what you're asking that dog to do. But then again, in a very independent thing that we're doing here, maybe it's good to let the dog get a little loosey goosey. I'd be thinking of if there's no dog. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. I, I think never know. The smart move would also be thinking about the next scenario you still gotta do. She's not done yet. Bah, 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 She's barking. I think I just heard her go. Whoa. Yeah, uh, she's gonna that dog up. Yeah. Yeah. And they are allowed to do that. Yeah. They are absolutely allowed to, while they're in the vehicle with that dog, get look at her. She is, she's getting me fired up. I'm ready to fight just watching her Let's talk to that Lauren. dog. Let's go, Lauren. All right, now she's got to take the walk. Let's go, Lauren. This is tough on the dogs watching their handlers walk away. It is. Yeah, that's mentally. Yeah, that's mentally something that they're like, where are you going, where are you going? And now Mr. MD is going to come on up and try and get into this van. All right, Who, what's the bet? The bean's going to bite. There is none. I'd rather bet on the out. Oh, I, you think he's 100% biting? Yes, I do. I do too, actually. Here bet we go. out. Now he's looking at, he's looking at Lauren. Here he comes. Is he on? Is he on? Is he on? Is he on? Is he yeah, on? Yes, he's on. Yep, yep, he's on. He's on. Now it took a, it took a little bit longer to get there on. Yeah, he was able to get a butt cheek on the on the seat, but we got engagement. There's no there's no concern Look about this. this dog on the duration of the engagement. My concern is going to be the out. Yep. What's the ruling in training? Your you know you see these everybody stroking the dog. <laughs> Nice! Wow. Control! Oh. Lauren and Bean. Yeah, I'm clapping. What a team. I'm clapping for that. What a team. That dog's a oh. stud. Well, you know, I was I was wrong based on what's happened all day with that dog and handler to even question the out. Because if you recall, in that last scenario, the issue, we even, I even commented yeah. on how good the out was Great. in conjunction with the intensity in the fight. That's not where the issues were. The issues have consistently been the control yes. and the front part of these scenarios. Right, that dog's the, so fired up to do it. Yes. That she's losing a little bit of points on the obedient part. Yes. Yeah. Which, who knows, we don't know how old Bean is. Oh, a two-year-old dog versus a four-year-old dog. A two-year-old dog versus an eight-year-old dog. Way different mental capacity um, to handle this kind of excitement. Absolutely, absolutely. Unbelievable. That was fun to watch. Oh, dude, I, I'm... Team Bean. Team Bean. That would make a great t-shirt. They should have shirts that say Team Bean. I like it. I Next up, one. we got Michael and Exxon. They are uh, have 79 points. They got some ground to make up. We've got to see some intensity here. Got to see some intensity here. We're coming to the line. They're approaching smooth. They're approaching collected. Yeah, they look good. And that approach to the line is important in everything. We've, we've spoken about that. You know that in your world from the holding blind to the line. Right. There's a lot of work and a lot of things that take place there. Absolutely. Here we go. Approaching the van. Michael and Axon. Belgian Malinois. Up on in, buddy. Now, I made a comment about me and Lauren about maybe slowing down and being methodical and holding that control. Mm -hmm. But the more I think about it, I want the dog to be a little less control here. I want them to get a little bit more full of themselves for this scenario. In this scenario, I can see the value in that, absolutely. And when you saw her pumping him up in the van, I think that's a real smart handler's decision. Yes. Like, I don't know what Michael's doing right now, but I'm not seeing him as animated in there as Lauren was. She was like, yeah, get some, bud. Get some. Get some. Let's go. Watch him. Here we go. I'm trying to look at his lips. Is he talking to his dog? I, I hear I think him. so, yeah. They've got audio on him. 
Again, they are allowed to talk to the dog. They're allowed to pump the dog up yep. because yep. they're getting ready to leave. Yep. Now he's about to take that walk and leave his dog. Excellent. He's thinking, where are you going, buddy? You heading into Macy's? Can't be Sears. I think Sears went out of business. I think Sears went out of business. I scooped up so many cargo shorts when they were on like. You clearance. would have cargo shorts. Though. Yes, I would. Yeah, you're a utilitarian. You like things that are, are workable. All My right. fanny pack's a little too small. I need a bigger one. Mr. MD strutting his stuff to the van. Brian Ryan. Dogs looking around, not barking. Phenomenal decoy here. There we go. <gasps> Boom. On. Did not hesitate. That was an impressive I engagement. Mean full launch in. I'm our, seeing our handlers approaching. I like the way he's approaching his dog. Calm, cool, collected. Next on out! Boost! Boom! Boy. What a dog, baby. What a dog. That's big for them. They, that, they needed that. That, that couldn't have gone any better. No. Look at him run off the field. He knows he's pumped. He knows he's pumped. Yes. Ready K9, baby. So they train with Polovius and Prowler. Right. Yeah, it showed. Those two those two dogs. I mean, he launched into Brian. And it's 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 interesting, fascinating, whatever you want to say, to look at how these dogs are behaving differently in the vehicle once they hand their lead. Right. And you, you can't say, oh, well, I don't, I don't know. He's not, because he wasn't barking. No. He wasn't fired up. He was just he wasn't scanning. bouncing around. He's just, what's going on? And yet he had one of the, one of the quickest engagements that we've seen here in this scenario. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Now and here's the kicker. I'll play the devil's advocate for the retriever guy. What if your wife tries to get in the car? Stepping on her how do you handle that? I don't think anything I would say right now I should because I'll probably get in trouble. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, or or I don't know. But it is one of those things where it's like... I mean, you know how to find out who loves you more. You put your wife in the trunk, you put the dog in the trunk, and you see which one's happy to see you. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, the dog will be happy. The dog will be so happy to see you. Um, not too sure about the significant other. All right, we got David and Moe. David and Mo are been fun to watch. Are fun to watch. We got 91 points for David and Mo. That puts them in tied for third. Tied for third. Now, yet again, David and Mo had very cool, clean obedience we'll approaches. Inside the, vehicle, the van here, you can tell Mo's getting excited. Oh, hey, bud, we going for a ride? Cool, where are we going? Because uh, I'm sure these two ride everywhere together. Based on watching their relationship off the field, this is his road dog. Yeah, this is his buddy, man. Yeah. This is his teammate. He's he, talking to him. Is he? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. He's talking to him. Uh, He's letting him know. And that's what you got to do. This is your partner. These animals are these humans' partners. They are their, this is truly man's best friend. And we are seeing how that's playing out and everything taking place today. All right, what do we got? He's taking the walk. All right, David's headed in. Starting to get some movement in the van. All right, our decoy is getting ready to make his approach. Let's go, he's getting pumped up. You can tell on his face, he's like, all right, here we go. He here needs go. to, he's Mr. about to go to work. He's about to go get bit. Yep, Mr. MD. And again, every single dog, the decoy's job is to present as close and consistent of a scenario as possible. Bang. On, Bang. on. Look at that dog, though. Yep. Good bite. Yep. Dude. Look at him in there. That boy, Mo. Gordon Sample. That is the definition of a working dog. Through and through. Through and through. All of them are, really. Every single one of these competitors at K9 Street League have been a number one, no BS, oh, working dog. Yes. Nice. nice. Good handling. He recognized, he uh, knew his dog. He didn't get a second command, even though that was a slow out. Okay, I'll let go. Yep, that's exactly what happened. All right, if you tell me to. 
That was a good demonstration. Thanks, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, next up we've got Brett and Rogue. So this is our final dog for this scenario. Yep. And then we'll be taking another break, getting ready for our last bitey bitey scenario. Brett and Rogue. Uh, are, These are our chill. This is our chill team. Yeah. Yep. Very relaxed teamwork. And and, and Rogue uh, is sitting with 83 points, so he's got some ground to make up here. But I gotta say, I just looked over my shoulder. Oh, he. Oh, yeah. This is the most animated I've seen Rogue yeah. today. And I wonder if Brett is doing this. Back there going, come on, bud. Well, Get, he go. should after what happened in the previous scenario. Yeah. And if you guys recall, in the previous scenario, Rogue's chill factor kind of, it was helping him the whole trial. But it hurt him there. Pun intended, bit him in the butt. Thanks for, thanks for having me. Be here all day. <laughs> And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it kind of gave him a pause, a hesitation. <laughs> Maybe just hadn't really seen that scenario enough mm -hmm. to where the other dogs anticipated the scenario. He wasn't. All right, here we go. Brett and Rowe walk into the van, baby. It's back to being relaxed right now. Back to relax. Double command. Good dog. I feel like calling him Uncle Brett. Yeah. Me, me and Uncle Brett will go have some bush lattes. At a boy. And right. now, I can tell you right now, he and that dog ride around together. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably got an old F-150. It's just like doctored up, cool. Probably sounds like his van. And he and Rogue cruise the streets together. I could see him. Now, I can see him in an old Dodge Dakota, too. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah before they stop making them. He could be in that old Dakota yeah. with that little bit of extra horsepower, yeah. smaller truck. Oh. 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 Let's go. Let's go. All right, so Brett and Rogue, get them fired up in there. Brett. What kind get of, him. what song would Uncle Brett be listening to? Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Or he's listening to like Wayne Lee. Could be, yep. ACDC would get me fired up right now. All right, get him pumped up, Brett. Get him pumped up. Let's see Rogue go to the other side. Come on. Yeah, watch. Now, Rogue was confused on the last scenario, and this is the most potentially confusing scenario we have in the entry level. Let's see what happens. This is this is gonna. All this right. could go either way because Rogue is also more amped prior to this scenario than he was before. I'm sure Uncle Brett was putting some work in prior in the parking lot. That's right. All right, Mr. MD, walk into the line. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of Biting loving you. you. Approaching the vehicle, Here door is Come open. On, Bite him. Bite him, bro. Confusion. No good. Nope. No bite. We do not have an engagement. Oh, no. Bite. Nope. nope. Well, the confusion, the confusion hit him again. Yep. That'll happen. Brett and Rogue are going to go back and do a little bit of homework. But I'll tell you what, I love those guys. I bet you they're still going to share a beer. No, oh, yeah. Or 12. Yeah, me and, me and Uncle Brett are going to hang out later. I, uh, it comes down to showing the dog pictures, mm -hmm. building the scenarios, and, and coming back for the next Canine Street lead with this stuff in his pocket. There you go, look at that guy. That's a yep. true competitor. I like his enthusiasm. I'm paying for his beer tonight. Yeah, yeah like, I like that I guy. just want to. He and that dog are a team, and, and even though it didn't look, go the way they wanted, they had a good time, and I guarantee you, they come back, come back with a vengeance. Again. That's right. And for all you guys watching that are thinking about doing this, you're on the edge, you've never done it, you want to try, learn from what we're seeing. And that's why we're having these conversations for you guys is so you can see and learn from what you're seeing. Absolutely. And see the struggles that some folks have and some of the small failures they have. Well, they're going to go back and work on oh, it. Oh, you bet and your This butt. is a chance for these folks watching to work on it. You think Aaliyah and Jules aren't going to go hard in the paint? Come on. Guys, we're going to cut it. But do me a favor, before you do, click subscribe.